Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Chell, Doncaster born but built for factual entertainment and welcome to another Theme Park Newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about da, 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 a brand new announcement, a shocking announcement. Duh. And this is from SeaWorld Orlando in Orlando, Florida. They're set to be making a brand new announcement tomorrow on the 21st of July 2020. Uh, for those of you who are watching this a few years in the future, if you are, hello, I hope I'm at 1 million subscribers. Uh, <laughs> uh, but today we're going to be focusing on what the announcement picture could be. We're also going to be talking about this rumoured surf coaster as well. What will happen with that? Will that be the announcement? Which I don't think it will be, and I'll get on to more about that in the video. But before any of that, here is how you guys can interact with the channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chell YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2,000 subscriber Q&A also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting if we do that I will release coaster channel merchandise on a new website as well as other projects I've got planned for the long-term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So the teaser image officially made by SeaWorld Orlando on their social media is very easy to describe. It is just an outline, a white outline of a jellyfish over a blurred out coral reef background with 72120 written in Sawitz. Of course, he's American time zone backwards, the 21st of July 2020, because of course we can't have the seventh day of the 21st month because it's not humanly possible. But um, in terms of the teaser image, from the looks of it, it looks very interesting. So I'll be very interested to hear your predictions in the comments down below. But here is a couple of my predictions. So looking at that teaser image then, I'm able to make three predictions. Now one of them is probably not going to happen. The other one probably won't happen. And the other one looks very likely to happen. Now I'm going to speak about the ones that probably won't happen. So the first one is the surf coaster. Now. We all know that a surf coaster will probably be coming in the next couple of years to SeaWorld Orlando. And if you don't know what a surf coaster is, basically we now know what it is. It's basically Bulger and Mabillard, who are a Swiss manufacturer. They were responsible for the inverted coaster Nemesis, the dive coaster Oblivion, uh, the wing coaster, the swarm at Thorpe Park, for those of you who are UK viewers. But of course, those of you in Europe and America, you guys will know B&M, Valkyria at Leesburg, Sheikra at Busch Gardens, Tampa, um, Fury 325 at Carowind, Orion at Kings Island that opened a couple of weeks ago. Um, so they're a well-known manufacturer, they're one of the biggest, arguably the biggest manufacturer in the world for roller coasters. Basically this is their take on a launch coaster. So, you know, surfing the waves at high speed. So this is basically b and take on a launch coaster. So, obviously this rumour of a launch coaster for Orlando all came about first of all through presentation leaks now they were they, they were like leaked presentation images from SeaWorld and Busch Gardens parks and they were way back in like 2017 2018 2016 even I think um, but around 2017 2018 mark and basically showed off uh, a multi-launch for Busch Gardens Williamsburg which will eventually become Pantheon um, RMC Guazi, of course, with Iron Guazi. Um, San Antonio with a wooden coaster, which became known now as Texas Stingray. SeaWorld San Diego with a dive coaster, of course, that was already announced anyway. Uh, which was, of course, um, obviously it was known as Emperor. Uh, it was known as Mako first, and then it became Emperor. Um, and Orlando with a launch coaster. Now, that was Icebreaker. And then we got the details and rumours of some kind of filings for a surf coaster the following year in 2021. Now, with the COVID-19 pandemic and the potential delay of Icebreaker, which is their premier ride's launch coaster for family thrill seekers, that has put, seemingly pushed Icebreaker back to 2021 potentially, not confirmed yet, but I may, they may confirm that in the announcement tomorrow. 
and then the surf coaster for 2022. Now, this is why this prediction won't happen because I think the surf coaster is for 2022, and they're going to delay Icebreaker till 2021. Or they may choose to open Icebreaker in 2020, in late 2020, do an official relaunch, like a soft launch, uh, to relaunch the ride in 2021 fully with crowds, and um, have this brand new thing for 2021 that they're going to announce tomorrow as well. So like a like a relaunch of the 2020 attraction because they didn't get a chance to relaunch it before, and obviously this new thing for 2021 as well. And I think the Surf Coaster will be for 2022. Now, my other prediction that probably won't happen is one of the shows that could be a possibility, and that is Light Up the Night. Now, Light Up the Night is a um, Shamu Stadium show. It was a light up show with the killer whales in the Shamu Arena. Um, I don't think it'll be that, because obviously it's shaped like the jellyfish on the picture, the teaser, so obviously it wouldn't fit. You, you don't see a white outline of a jellyfish and think, killer whale. Um, but, you know, I don't think it'll be that, but hopefully that show does come back. So my other prediction, I think the one that will happen, is of course Electric Ocean. I think that will be coming back. Uh, that is a nighttime show. Uh, and basically, for those of you who need a description, uh, I've looked up Electric Ocean on the internet, and basically, the description according to one YouTube video, uh, when people also asked what is Electric Ocean at SeaWorld, Electric Ocean at SeaWorld Orlando, guests are transported to an exotic world of light and sound complete with fantastical dancers, glowing sea creatures and high energy DJ entertainment. The entire event crescendos into a nightly display of fireworks and lasers that will leave everybody breathless. So, in terms of a description of Electric Ocean, that is what they came up with. On the It was a description of a video and they have the description and the link to the video at the bottom of that answer the question on Google. So that's the best way I could probably describe Electric Ocean. It's a show with loads of colour, loads of energy, loads of... It's like, like a breath of fresh air. It's something the public needs and if they do launch this as Electric Ocean returning, I think they're going to make this into a success. A major, major successful show. Now obviously this would be correct timing because of course Busch Gardens Tampa are launching some kind of fireworks show this uh, as well so again I think with Tampa doing something nightly I think SeaWorld could be next and I think Orlando could be next so this will come at the right time now whether that means they're going to jointly announce the Electric Ocean coming back for next year and then the Surf Coaster in the same announcement for 2022 that remains to be seen it isn't out of the question because of course you know Back in 2019, when we got the announcement that Bush Gardens Tampa was going to be uh, built, well, we got the announcement in 2018, sorry, that Tampa was doing Tigris, and then we got the also, conf well, not confirmation technically at the time, but some teasers that Guazi was having a rocky ride. Yeah, you could tell, by the way. Um, so maybe SeaWorld does that thing again where they announce Electric Ocean and then they say, but that's not all. In 2022, we're going to be surfing the waves on a brand new roller coaster experience, and then some enthusiasts immediately think surf coaster. Um, so they're going to tease the enthusiast community. I can just guarantee it. So whether it's a joint announcement for 2021, 2022, with both projects being announced, we don't know. We don't know. It could just be the Electric Ocean for 2021, and they may leave the surf coaster to announce next year or early next year. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. So. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned for all future videos on the channel. We've got a couple coming up tomorrow and over the next few days. We've got our next reactions video in the next few days as well. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you comment down below some stuff to react to. Keep it family. You know, keep it family. Um, but yes, thank you very much guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now guys, my name is Coast Shell. Kill on the Coast Live. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day.